To solve this proportion, we need to utilize cross multiplication. So we should multiply 6, the numerator of this fraction, to the denominator of the fraction on the other side of the equal sign, which would give us 6 times 14 minus k. That is equal to the cross multiplication of 12, our denominator on the right hand side, and the numerator on the left hand side. 12 times k plus 3. Now we have something more workable and we can start to simplify and isolate our variable k. If I grab a new color, let's do distributive property first. So we'll have 6 times 14 and 6 times negative k. 6 times 14, I'm going to bring over here. 6 times 4 is 24. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 2 is 8. So we have 84 minus 6k is equal to 12 times k and 12 times 13. 12 times k would just give us 12k, and 12 times 3 would give us 36. Now we can do opposite operations to both combine like terms and isolate our variable. So 6k is being subtracted from 84. The opposite operation is to add 6k to both sides. These 6k's will cancel, leaving us with 84 is equal to 18k plus 36. Then 36 is being added to 18k, so the opposite here is subtracting it from both sides. These 36's will cancel, leaving us with, we need to borrow, 14 minus 6 is 8, 7 minus 3 is 4, so we have 48 is equal to 18. Okay, now the final step here, the final step, 18 is being multiplied to k, so the opposite is dividing both sides by 18. And this is not going to be an even division, as we can assume, looking at most of our answer choices being mixed fractions, right? So we need to simplify this fraction as far down as it will go. And we can start by dividing both the top and bottom by the greatest common factor of 6. 48 divided by 6 will give us 8, and 18 divided by 6 will give us 3. There are no more common factors between our numerator and our denominator, so at this point we can just turn this into a mixed fraction and we will have our answer. 3 can go into 8 2 times evenly with no remainder. 3 times 2 would give us 6, and 8 minus 6 would give us 2. So we would have 2 whole numbers on the outside with 2 thirds left over. 2 and 2 thirds makes answer choice D our correct answer.